Welcome to the fight with Teddy Atlas. I'm Ken Rido, joined as always by legendary trainer Teddy Atlas. Teddy, today we're going to talk about an exhibition: Mike Tyson and Roy Jones. I will uh, refer to it as antiques. These are not the fighters that you once knew. Even though you want to let your imagination speak to you and take you to uh, La La Land. I understand, we all like to travel and we all like to go to those places that are more fun. But the reality is the reality. You know, Tyson hasn't fought for 15 years and when he did, he wasn't too good. But he put a video out there, you know, he still has those uh, quick moves. He's still a professional athlete. He still has those genetics. So he goes on the pads and he looks pretty good. You guys forget there's nobody throwing back at him. That's, that's, that's important. That's kind of important. And you guys get all excited and you're ready to watch the fight. Okay, great. And we're going to do a fight plan on it. And as I said, these are like the old cars. These are the relics. It's the old Corvette, but it doesn't have the spoiler on it. It's the uh, monster truck, but it doesn't have the big wheels. The horsepower is not there anymore, but we're gonna go take a little trip to the museum there's some antiques back there. I want to take a look too. You know why? For old times sake. It's good to do things sometimes, just for old times sake. Let's take a little journey. Show me your museum. I know that you have cars the way Jay Little does. <laughs> you got Ferraris, you got all kinds. Show me some of the old ones. Let's do it. Will you? All right, guys, Mike Tyson, Roy Jones, Teddy, what are we looking for? Well, we're looking for shadows. Shadows of what they once were. But what's in these shadows? Well, the last thing to go with a fight, even when you get old, is the power. The power's still there. George Floyd proved that. And I was there to learn the lesson, unfortunately. So the power of Tyson against the speed of Jones. You can't depend on that speed still being the same, but the power can be the same, or close to it, not quite the same. But the delivery system won't be as good. See, that's the thing. And that's what Jones, it's kind of like having a tip. If you know somebody's robbing a bank, you're a cop, and they tip you off, you know to be there. And there's a little, if Jones is really thinking the way he always did, he, he had a good mind. He understands that Tyson was always a bully, always a guy, you know, and listen, I'm not knocking him, I'm just saying he had that mentality, that bully, he was physically stronger, he was more powerful than you, that's what he was gonna bring. Why wouldn't he bring it now? That's his confidence. If there's any confidence, that would be his confidence, bringing that power. And when he brings it, he does everything big, big punches. So, if I'm Jones, I've been tipped off, I understand that. I understand what I'm dealing with. And I understand, so I'm gonna be looking for that big shot and I'm gonna look to do something in between it, to count him. I'm gonna look to get him to throw that big shot when I need him to throw it. So you're gonna be Tyson. And he's gonna look for that big left hook, whatever he's gonna look for. And Jones is important. As soon as the bell rings, he comes out. He's got to control, he's got to be in, in a controlling position of distance where he's given Tyson enough room to make a mistake. You know that old saying, give the guy enough room to hang himself? That's kind of what you want to do. So you want to be, you want to be here, and then when he goes to throw that punch, bang! See if you can catch him with the right hand. Again, Tyson, he'll be slipping, he'll be weaving, but if you can get enough separation and get Tyson after 15 years, to be over anxious, that shouldn't be too hard to do. To get him to be, you know, not as calm, but when he's doing it, to be a little over anxious, and then give him enough room where, wow, he starts to launch a little too soon. Uh, again, you use the jab, you step back, you, and you look to catch him on the way in. 
before he launches. Or, go ahead and launch. When he does launch, bang! In between that launch. Look to count him. And one other thing. If the fight devolves, and it's very possible, it will go downhill because of the age. Remember the last time Tyson was in the ring with McBride, that he was he didn't look too good at the end. No. And he was he had McBride against the ropes. So Jones might want to look at a little bit of alley tape, seriously, and bring his own version of the rope adult, where he goes up against the rope. And he, he, he blocks everything Tyson's doing. And one thing that Jones did, he was pretty slick, but one thing he did well, he had a good uppercut. And Tyson was always susceptible. Bang! 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 Rope a dope. Uppercut. Set traps. Catch him coming in. If you can do that, well, Jones, he can be the old man of the hour. He could turn the clock back, or at least make it look like he turned it back. Show me one of the old cards now, please. <laughs> All right, Teddy. What does Mike Tyson have to do to win this fight against Roy Jones? Land one of those big shots, you know. Uh, show his power. That's I said before when I was setting up Jones. The last thing to go was the power. But, since we're on that subject, what's the first thing to go? Reflexes, timing, speed, father time, erodes those things, sometimes destroys them. And that's where you gotta start if you're Tyson. Because you have to understand, just like Jones has to understand, Tyson's gonna look for that power because that was always his confidence. You have to understand if you're Jones or if you're Tyson, that Jones may still think those reflexes are there. And they ain't, unfortunately. Where Jones was, what made him so special was, the only other guys, I'm not putting them in this category, there's only one Muhammad Ali, but Ali was the first guy and the greatest guy at making wrong right. He broke, he broke all the rules and he made it right. He pulled back, he never went to the body, he dropped his hands. Yeah, I mean, he, he did everything and he made it right. Jones was like that too. When he was at his peak, Jones made wrong right. It ain't easy to do that. But now, wrong's wrong. And Jones, if you're Tyson, you want to get Jones to think those reflexes are still there. And they're not. And you want to get him to pull back, which you're not supposed to do. You're supposed to weave a hook. Or you're supposed to step inside and punch inside a hook. Or you're supposed to dip inside a hook. You're not supposed to pull back from it, but Jones got away with it when he was young. If you can get, I'll be Tyson. If I can get Jones, first of all, I, I'm gonna put a little pressure on him. I'm gonna do it the way Tyson liked to do it. Slipping, weaving, putting pressure, making him feel that presence. Make him pull back. And if I can do that, if I can go, I can go, bang! Oh, yeah. your, nose, your nose looks better. <laughs> looks better now. It was a little crooked before. Perfect now. If you can do that, if you can get him to think that he can still pull back, that he can still time those shots, well, you got him where you want him. You get him at the end of one of those big left hooks. And you won't have to go into those deep waters where your resolve gets tested. Because we don't know what those deep waters would bring right now. Let's get that nose fixed as soon as possible. <laughs> we'll get you out of here. For our friends at my bookie, Teddy, give me the pick, guys. Mybookie.ag. Use the promo code Atlas for 100% credit on your first deposit, up to thousand dollars. So you deposit a thousand, they'll match you with another thousand. You'll have two grand to bet the fight. Who are we taking, Teddy? Well, you know, if it's short, and I never do this, and at the end I'll, I'll give you the one pick. But if it's short, it's Tyson. Because they'll come out of here, explode, it'll be over. And he's the bigger guy, you know? And, and that'll be the end of it. But if it goes some rounds, ho ho ho! If it goes some rounds, I still have that image of Tyson just laying on the floor with McBride, not wanting to fight no more. Not a good image. No, not being strong in that category, in that area. But at the end of the day, I gotta make a pick. 
And I'll go with Tyson by knockout. There you have it. MyBookie.ag. Use the promo code ATLAS. Tyson by knockout. And you need to win some money here so you can fix that nose. Very important. Thanks, guys.